Hey planners, it's Taya Shante Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be memory planning the week of February 14th to the 20th in my Sadie Stickers Vertical Planner and I'm using the Love is Sweet kit from Crafts by Towie. This is such a beautiful kit and it is foiled in rose gold foil. I love all of the decorative elements that were included in this kit. The florals were amazing and I thought everything was so sweet and perfect for Valentine's Day, which is this week. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by putting down my bottom washi. Of course, that's pretty standard for me. I feel like I wouldn't even know how to start a planner spread if I didn't start with my bottom washi. It would feel like a little bit off, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> I don't know. Does anyone else get like picky about how they put down like the order they put down their foundation? I do see some people start with their date covers, but for me, I've always started with my bottom washi. It feels like like start there, then do the date covers and then like sidebar and then I'm ready to go through the week. I don't know. Um, <laughs> habits, right? Anywho. I'm moving up to my date covers and what I realized as I was editing was that I lost that clip. I don't know what happened. I thought I'd filmed it, but that's okay because the next week's spread, which that video should be up pretty soon after this one, um, is my anniversary week spread. And I did really similar date covers and used some of the same types of stickers. So hang in there and check out my next video and you'll see what I did with my date covers. But it's a mix of cutting up some of the florals from the kits, pulling in some of those flourishes from Sadie's stickers that were in her advent calendar box and some little cluster deco of hearts, which were super cute. Oh, along with those heart dividers from Sadie stickers, which I adore. Moving into my month section in the sidebar, I layered two of the hearts from the Valentine's collection from Paper Trail Plans and then added the February script also from Paper Trail Plans. I love the way that month section came out. I thought those hearts that they created were so beautiful because they're on transparent matte paper and they look like watercolor on the page. I just really love that visual effect and then being in the heart shape. I would love for them to do more stickers like that that are like shaped in that transparent mat where it has like that watercolor wash to it where you could just like put it on the page and just make something just really beautiful. Um, I, I'm quite a fan of that. Put down the quote box and then I'm creating my own little divider using one of the scalloped headers along with some of the florals and then I just layered one of those heart dividers underneath it. I'm going to add this little heart flourish on top and that was another sticker that came in the Sadie Stickers advent calendar. We got some really cute like heart themed stickers in um, this year's advent which was super awesome and perfect to use for the month of February. Um, and now I am pulling in the, what is this, my habit tracker. And I just wanted to trim the top and bottom of it just to make it pop with a little bit of foil. And so I'm pulling in some of these trims from Bloom Paper Studio. And I'm just tucking that under the top and bottom of that habit tracker. Once I have that done, I'm going to move into the really fun sort of decorative part of my sidebar where I always pull in a Red Lyrics fashion doll and try to create a fun background for her. There was a really cute, it was actually just like the regular checklist or Monday through Sunday box, but it was decorated so beautifully. I thought it would make a really nice background. So I'm adding some um, washi trims from Bloom Paper Studio. Um, to add a nice foil pop behind it. Then I'm gonna add the girl. And then from here, I'm just kind of like eyeballing it to figure out like what else I wanna add to this to make it fuller. So I'm pulling in some florals, adding in a little bit more of like the heart clusters. I'm gonna pull in this ribbon bow from Sadie Stickers to add a bow to her dress, which I thought was super adorable. I love that touch because it just adds a little bit of foil to that fashion doll and makes her look super dainty and beautiful. Um, and then I'm pulling in some of the bow clusters that were also from a $2 Tuesday from Sadie stickers. Then I'm adding just my workout script to the habit tracker. Um, and that finishes up my sidebar. Now I want to start putting down my headers. I liked the very neutral color of the date covers. And so I wanted to bring a little bit of pink right to the top of the page because it was very neutral up there. And I thought it would be nice to have pink at the top of the page, kind of the same way the bottom washi is doing where it's got that neutral top strip and then the bold pink bottom strip. So I kind of mimicked that at the top with the date covers and headers. And then I'm going into Monday, which the first thing I wanted to mark was that it was Valentine's Day. And this year was really awesome Valentine's Day for me. Um, 
my wedding anniversary is always the week after Valentine's Day. And some years, my husband and I, we just don't celebrate both. Because it's like both of them seriously back to back, like a week apart. That's a lot. So sometimes it's just like, okay, yeah, we get it. We love each other. Yay. Yay us. And <laughs> other times, it's... I'm sorry, that was so lazy. But yeah, that's just the reality. Sometimes we're lazy. We've been married for 14 years. I mean, after a while, you get the point. I love you. Okay. Um, but this year, apparently, we were in the mood to just be festive and celebrate. So uh, we had really nice Valentine's Day. It was so great just spending time with each other. What's been really nice or was really nice back in February as I'm doing this voiceover, I have returned to working a hybrid work schedule. But at this time, I was still working from home. So we were able to be at home together, even though I had to work Um it kind of didn't matter. We were able to exchange our gifts, which was really sweet. He always is like way better at gift giving than me. But this year I totally rocked gift giving. <laughs> I'm super freaking proud of myself. So my husband is like the biggest like Star Wars nerd. And I found this thing online where it was like, make me a Jedi where you could have like a professional artist I like sent him pictures of B and he drew him and like his face and made him Darth Vader which was just like incredibly amazing and my husband who loves Star Wars he also loves comics and that whole thing so seeing himself animated and seeing himself animated as Darth Vader he was like yeah, you win. You rocked Valentine's Day. Your gift was awesome. He loved it. And I was so excited and happy because again, he's usually the better gift giver, but I kind of killed it this year. So I was super proud of myself. Um, <laughs> and then um, we, that evening, which was so crazy, he had never seen Pirates of the Caribbean, which I, I literally could not believe it was one of like my favorite movies when I was younger when it first came out and I've, I've like loved it and so I was like nope that's what we're doing I was I had like a random craving that day for like pad thai and I hadn't had pad thai in so long and I was like babe I know exactly what I want to eat for dinner <laughs> and so we got some takeout from um this re this restaurant that we love that has really good pad thai it was so yummy and we watched pirates of the caribbean and it was a really wonderful evening and he loved the movie and i knew he would because his sense of humor is like i knew he was gonna like that jack sparrow character because that very much fits into my husband's sense of humor and so he really enjoyed it on to tuesday um got up and started my day by going to the gym at this time I think my gym was like crazy crowded and I was really at the point of wanting to tell people please go away I, I would really like you to give up on your new year's resolution and become the quitter that we both know you're gonna be in a couple of weeks no I'm just kidding that's so mean I would never actually say that to their face I was thinking it silently but mostly just because that girl was on the exercise bike that I wanted to use and I really just wanted her to move um <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, I'm totally kidding. I'm really am such a nice person. I promise. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. My excursion got canceled. So we are cruise from 2020 got postponed, obviously COVID. And so it got moved to 2021 and then it got moved again to 2022. And so we are at this point it looks like we're a go and we're going to be able to go on this vacation and so I was booking like excursions and things for us for when we land in port on our port days and it has been like just nothing has gone right with any of my bookings and normally it's so simple I'm able to just go on the website book an excursion and everything goes and I feel like maybe it's just because things are kind of like starting back up and things with travel are still kind of in flux because every single excursion I've booked they have like followed up and been like we're so sorry there's no tour going out at a time that could accommodate you and yada 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 and I'm like seriously how is that possible for like all of them none of these things are working and it's just been such a mess and I've, I've really not enjoyed this process I don't know what we're going to end up doing on this vacation and that's odd for me because it's one of the things I enjoy about these types of vacations is that I'm very much able to like plan out all the little details and like every step I know exactly what we're going to be doing on each days it, it cruising very much lends itself to my level of crazy need to plan out every single part and detail of this vacation 
and I'm not able to do that this time. And it's giving me a little bit of anxiety as you can probably hear in my voice, but I'm totally handling it well. I'm good, I'm good, I'm super good. It's gonna be fine. I'm not freaking out, except just a lot. Anywho, um, also ended up texting my sis that day about our nieces and nephews coming to visit us the following weekend, um, which we were really looking forward to and excited about. And then, oh, I placed an order on Ulta. Um, I filmed CD Stickers January Mystery Kit on to Wednesday. Wednesday had a meeting at work at 9 a.m. And then I worked on my anniversary kit with Alicia, which was like, the craziest thing I love that kit so much and like I said that's gonna be my next plan with me coming up so I've, as I'm recording this voiceover I've already finished that spread and it is one of my favorite spreads that I've ever done it came out so perfect and like exactly the mood I wanted it the way I wanted it to feel like you remember when you're like sitting down to plan and it's not so much like because we always want our spreads to be like pretty right we want our stickers to be arranged in a way where we look at it and go oh I like that but then sometimes like kids they have a feeling right they have a mood when you look at them and they make you feel a certain way and I wanted that kit to make me feel a certain way because it's like the kit itself is called fairy tale and it feels like a fairy tale and when I look at that spread I get that feeling and it makes me so happy like so happy because that's what I was hoping would happen but anywho yes so I was working on finishing that up with Alicia that day um and then um I created my own little kind of divider with that little typewriter deco that was in the kit so stinking adorable this was planning with Tao's kits is really fun and easy and I know I've heard Lauren say this too um and I and I a lot of ways Lauren Lauren of Plan Most Plan sorry I should be more clear in case you guys are unaware of my dear friend Lauren who is also in the planner community she and I often overlap in our opinions on um, kit format and things that work well with our personal planning style and I and I know I'd heard her say before that planning with a Crafts by Towie kit generally comes pretty easy to her because of the way her kits are formatted they they really work with our personal planning style and it's something I completely agree with because it was super easy to plan this spread which was very nice because at the time um like and we hadn't announced anything for it yet but we were definitely working on Rachel and I um, my other planner bestie were working on our business that was going to be launching in a couple of weeks and so I had so many things on my mind and it, as much as I wanted to try to focus on planning, I, it definitely can sometimes be hindering to your creativity when you're trying to think of a lot of other things and, and you have this long to-do list of business obligations and things outside of just your regular nine to five day job. But this one came together really nicely for me and I enjoyed planning it very, very much. Um, had a Okay, we got to move on because I've already like talked through all of Thursday. So let's catch up. Uh, Thursday went to the gym I FaceTimed my mom I booked a new excursion spoiler alert that one got canceled too oh it's just it's they yeah those excursions won't let me be great <laughs> we got Chick-fil-a for dinner that night B was going through a super duper phase like for several weeks in January and February if, just to be honest he was going through like a Chick-fil-a phase and it was like the weirdest thing because for a while he didn't want chick-fil-a at all and it was like one of those places where it was like hey babe i love chick-fil-a you in the mood for chick-fil-a and he was like no nah, not really for like the longest time and then he just it like a switch flipped or something and he was just like you in the mood for chick-fil-a and i'm like well not anymore we've had it enough but no he yeah so anywho we got chick-fil-a that day which i love chick-fil-a it's really good but moving on <laughs> <laughs> on to Friday it was payday yay um I uploaded a journal with me spread I have got to get back into journaling another thing like again I've been saying that like balancing my time right now and trying to figure that out and make time for planning and journaling I know is going to get easier in just a little bit for me because right now everything just feels so super busy so I was so happy to get a journal with me spread up that day because I really enjoyed them um and my niece called all um my best friend her and her family they were getting ready to go to Florida for a family vacation to um Universal Studios and um 
so I'd, I'd message or like, what is that thing called? Zeld? Zeld, my, my bestie, some money for her kids so that they could have just a little bit of extra spending money while they were out at the park. And her oldest called me to say thank you, which was so super sweet. Um, and then, oh, I got my happy mail. I got my anniversary kit. Came in the mail on on that Friday. On to Saturday, got up early that morning to go to my eyelash appointment. I have those every two weeks. And gotta tell you the process of getting my eyelashes done isn't something I completely love um <laughs> but I like the way it looks when it's done and I like the way my eyes look so I keep going back and forth because sometimes I'm just like oh I don't feel like going I don't feel like doing this <laughs> it just <laughs> it's literally how I talk to myself sometimes I'm such a brat um or at least that's what Ray tells me um and but I like the way it looks, so I just keep going. So there's that. I also had my Patreon class that day. I teach monthly planning classes, and we've been focusing on different planner challenges that we've been doing this year. And the planner challenge for February was creative focal points. So that's what we were working on in that class, which was so much fun. And then, oh my goodness, <sighs> B and I have been watching this crazy show, Married at First Sight. It's a lifetime show, and it is wowza um if you have never seen this show it, it i mean the premise the title gives away the premise of the show people meet and get married at first sight and then you watch them like go on their honeymoon and live together for eight weeks at the end of eight weeks they have to decide whether or not they want to stay married or get divorced and it's usually about four to five couples each season that are a part of this experiment and it is so super fascinating <laughs> to watch these people do this crazy experiment because it's just like it, who would marry a stranger like the, the premise of it is so wild but it's it brings up a lot of really interesting topics about marriage and I think it's one of the things that B and I really like discussing because we always have really interesting conversations when we watch that show because it makes us look at and think about marriage in ways that we're just like huh yeah that's that's interesting that is so interesting yeah so very fun conversations are had while watching that show and then just a lot of yelling at the tv and the crazy things those people do because that show is nuts um in like the best way on to Sunday um, I changed our bedding I was a little bit impatient and had bought like some new spring bedding even though it wasn't completely quite spring yet but I knew spring was coming <laughs> and I was ready for some like lighter colored lighter colored bedding um, and like fresh sheets in a fresh springy color and um, so we swapped that out we did the laundry I uploaded my plan with me um, so as I mentioned earlier in this video, uh, B and I enjoy cruising as a vacation and there are these two YouTubers that we watch, their channel is called Trev and Chels and they enjoy cruising as well and they have a lot of cruise videos on their channel and so we watch them often. Um, and Trev was getting ready to, to propose to Chels and so he was uploading a whole like vacation and proposal series that they were adding to their YouTube channel and um they had started uploading a couple videos so we were watching it this day and it's so crazy because we've been watching them for so many years now and watching like their vacation vlogs and then to see the whole proposal things Trev planned like this elaborate like surprise proposal and and took Chels to the Maldives which was her favorite vacation destination and a place that she'd really been wanting to go and planned out this like this super special proposal it's so romantic and sweet to watch I'm, like loving every moment of this and it's so crazy just like to realize how attached you can get to youtubers just from like watching them on youtube because i don't know these people i've never met them but like watching their love story and, and enjoying their content has just been like a part of my life now and so it's really cool <laughs> but that's it that's how we um, wrapped up our sunday so thank you all so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope you're all having an amazing day i'll see you next video bye